Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. It is time for me, Saiken, to invite you into just another episode um, in uh, exploring uh, the wilderness. We're still questing. I want to get the fate of Tiltrin right, but we also want to level up. So I hope, I sincerely hope, that this time we can get some more combat experience. Combat experience increased by 30%, uh, but I don't want to waste our influence, not that easily. But we could get some sweet, sweet experience. Let's hope uh, these guys here do have some iron ore for us. Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only oh, just refugees yet again. Good, we're moving down. We were told that north of uh, the lake, the friends should be located. Well, that's the nearby lake. And this here is north. <sighs> Something is not working out. Why? Is there no one here? Next time we will have to pay 114. We're almost out of cash. So maybe when they say nearby lake, they actually mean this lake here. All right, let's try that. And just head north. Okay, that much more looks like there uh, that there is someone. Like side camp. And we'll get some more resources. Cool. All right, first things first. We could steal some of that. 20 to 30. Mm. Not really worth uh, stealing that. How I managed to get all this? Ah, hard work. That's the secret. <laughs> Iron ore. I like that. Um, not yet. 50 is a bit too much. Too bad. I would have wanted that iron ore. How I managed to get all this. Oh, we can buy it for three. Well, that's easy. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. He sells it for three, but it is stolen already. What else can we sell to him? You want that? You want that? You want the club? What else do we not need? Um, the shield. We'll get more iron ore. One of our new recruits hasn't returned from his first assignment. I'm he probably just got delayed. He seemed capable enough. Uh, caught red handed on his first try. I never should have recruited this simp. He cannot hang by my fault. Pack it up, lads. We are leaving. As for you, come and meet me at the farm. 
Well, fantastic. Unfortunately, I did not talk to the third guy before we left. Well, now we get all of that for free. Cool. They conveniently forget to pack that one up. All right. Well, that seems to me like we're going to go into some sort of battle. Blacksmith, famous, I would love to have more. Innovative craftsman, craft uh, five minute camp materials, that's not bad. Good, what else could we do? Endurance run, run duration is increased by 20%. Animals have reduced, uh, reduced aggression range. That's not good. Three less food is good. Cost of items from Trekker Guild is reduced by 10%. And this one here isn't good either. But I like less food cost because that is one of our main upkeeps. Just to reduce that will go a long way. There's a huge fight. Which, in return, I think that's a really big fight. Um, if we were to rest now, what would be the disadvantage? We could get some food. We have plenty. We need to pay wages, but that's fine. But I could enjoy an entire day of extra experience. Flanking support is good. What else can we craft? This here allows us to um, to transform stolen items into normal items. Okay, fair enough. I think for now. One, two, three, four. I think we're doing the rest here. Pay them. Get that one done. One, two, three, a couple more beans, and we're good. We're getting plenty of um, influence thanks to our high happiness. And we got another uh, intro introvert dialogue. Sometimes I wish I could stop somewhere and settle down. Um, Dream of all sorts of adventures. Uh, no, I think daydream is the right uh, call here. Good, we want more comedy experience. Yes, please. Are you willing to let them slaughter us to save a thief? He's just a desperate farmer. Let him go, and no harm will come to you. I am torn. Who's to say you won't be back in a few days to plunder our supplies? No, 
We won't let any of you leave. Very well. Have at you. Mercenaries, whatever those thieves promised you, I can pay you much more to defend us. All right, so. Bar of soap, and here we're getting adjustable straps. Hmm, I don't know what adjustable straps are, but a bar of soap certainly sounds nice. It might be one of the trinkets. At the other, on the other hand, this might be something for our mule. So how would our characters react? Helping the ringleader or helping uh, the guards? I think we're helping the guards. Let's go, baby. That's going to be a ginormous battle. Finally, a big one. Dieter's inspiration. We have uh, proper movement increase. They do have critical hit chance increased. Lots of enemies over here. And it sure seems we are outnumbered. Jim Ulat, Namri is uh, going to be here. And Miss Grell is going to be right here. This is an important NPC, so we don't want to let him die. This guy, on the other hand, could just be on the other side. Cool. Um, well. Dilly G might uh, start this whole mission. Where is Enders? All right, Dilly starts to move up. This guy is being slowed. This guy takes a really solid hit. And we are ending our turn over here. Enemies start to run into bear traps. All right, Namri. Moves up here. Everybody is orderly. I like that. We're moving up. We're taking a protection ourselves and we're starting to attack. Very good. Uh, that might not be the best idea, my friend. You against four. Doesn't look very good for you, specifically if they have poison. Moves to here. Very good. We're moving up. Very nice hit.
Good, and we're moving back. End of turn. Well, the enemies are not very competent. Good. Miss Grell begins to open another flank here. One hit. Another one. And we're good to go. Holy shit, 21 points of damage, not bad. That on the other hand is not really clever, why would you move around there? Very, very nice. Alright, moves over here. Polly ends his turn. Uh, how about well, just one second? Good, everybody gets that extra bonus damage. <laughs> and Jim just finishes him. That on the other hand was a really nice hit. Takes a hit, takes an even bigger hit, and we're slowly moving in the right direction. You lot. Begins to move over here. goes into melee combat and weakens uh, that guy. Fantastic. We're moving up. With all of uh, the movement that we're having available, it's actually relatively easy to uh, to go there. Namre moves up, gets deflection going. Solid hit. Now we don't want to sprint in. We're just ending the turn.
very solid hit here. New round is starting. Move up. And we are moving to here. All right, Enders. Yeah, before Enders moves in, Amri begins to engage. Enders will be the next one that is actually killing him. There is uh, one Valor point plus galvana uh, galvanization. Oh, wow, he's poisoned for ten, and <clears throat> to be fair. A lot of it was uh, due to our rather aggressive use of poison. I think that's the last of them. Lots of materials to repair, but we also have gotten an outlaw ta tabard for a lot of armor, plus seven dexterous dagger. Trinket. And I think a little bit um, No, that trinket can't be worn. Why can it can't it be worn? Why is belt accessory? We don't have a trinket slot. Something is wrong here. Good. We could either upgrade willpower, which I wanted to get to 15 on all of the characters, so that's not a bad uh, choice. We do not get anything else at the moment. But yeah, willpower also increases critical hit chance, and that is important. They really made a fantastic system very very simple to damage skills hit points plus carrying capacity um, survivability plus crit chance so all of them are important and even the crit chance itself seems uh, rather straightforward and important good we got dex plus seven as a dagger Yeah, the knife throwing seems fine, but somehow the um, the torch was equally valuable for me. Worked out also quite well. So, outdoor tabard, light armor. That could be something that you are wearing for now. 14 armor, critical hit chance increased. Movement plus two. Yeah, it's pretty much what they are wearing.
All right, what else? I think that is what we found so far. A couple of other daggers. Your ill-advised intervention almost cost us. Here is a little something for your trouble. Now. Good. Belt accessory with plus one to movement. I think I want uh, that movement on Dilly because he always uh, seems to need that extra movement. Good. That brings us to 100 on those uh, missions. But there is another potential mission up here with more fights to be had. Lady Mayonnaise Storm Stormcamp awaits you and basically will tell you that there's the next area that you could venture to, but no such thing. I want to first and foremost explore that. We came to hunt for food for our family, beginning to wonder if we did the right thing coming here. But now that we're here, we can't go back empty handed. Hmm. I think. We'll just persuade them. I see. Thank you for warning us. Thanks to you, we'll get back to our family. Well, that was uh, rather easy. No combat involved here. Well, look at that. Now our extra uh, resources would have come in handy. But yeah, you never know when that would actually come in handy. Good. There is still that boss, but before we're battling him, we definitely need better armor. And better weapons. Luckily for us, we have enough iron ore uh, to do that. All right, moving around uh, the edges here. Highlands Trekker Camp. Let's figure out what that is about. Four starters. We do have a woodcutter that needs more experience. still wanted to wanted in order to do something don't even bother trying to sell me your filth i am in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals nice guess what we have plenty of fangs okay so fangs apparently are a different uh, form of currency teaches you how to uh Craft sharp fang. Okay, so Trinkora apparently is another uh, another profession that we can learn. Well, well, well. 
Camping gear. This tool can be used to catch small animals during rest. Single use. The problem is I think we can't really learn anything here. What else can we buy? Thanks are not a very good currency. Name's Brennan. If you want to join us and learn from us, you'll need to prove your worth. Come back victorious, or do not come back at all. Let the hunt begin, well. That sounds like a plan. Envious of our war paint, are you? Sorry, mercenaries. Only do become part of the lucky few. You must travel to Luden. Okay, well, so apparently war war paints are a thing. I like that. And if Don't I even if I was to sell that. I'm in need of fangs to accomplish our No, she, they don't have uh, they don't have crowns. So all they use is fangs. Tilt and hunt. The report states that another body was found north of the stables all point to the she-wolf uh, Sinka. A hunt map. Okay. Follow these instructions from Tiltrin's hunt to find and how to uh, find out how to defeat the ghost pack. The report states that another body was found north of the stables. All uh, points to the giant she-wolf Shikha, who has been hunted for several weeks now. Hmm. I don't know what Shikha is. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, let's see what you do have. Wheat is good. I like that because we can cook. I'll take all of that. The rest not so much. You can have this dagger. You can very much have that dagger. I don't know what the trinkets are doing, but I assume it is um, for the Tinkerer. We can have that. Animal accessory. We can sell that. Not needed right now. And the rest is really just crafting material. All right, let's camp. Cooking plenty of bread. That was helpful. And we still need a lot of meat in the diary. Good, everybody's resting, everybody seems happy. We gained another 25 influence and we still have an XP bonus. Good, so we know the Tinker's Camp is here. I don't think that I'm solving the uh, case of uh, that hunt right now. For now, let's just go back. 
and craft armor. Uh, that looks good. Officers uh, heavy armor, 90. A lot of guard, a lot of armor. Yeah, but I think we can build something better and we have plenty of iron ore. I mean, those the powder isn't bad, but we also do have some of it. Let's just get up to five again. And we're stocking, uh, we, we take some gray cluster because I think we can alchemically work on that one. We were not in the need of any medicine lately. So I think I have this area here firmly under control. Going back to town. I think we're okay. Uh, I don't also in this playthrough want to extend things for too much. So maybe it's good to move on. Yeah, I literally sold you guys that stuff. So lol for coming back. I am terribly sorry. This is but a simple sawmill. Well, this does not look like a simple sawmill to me. We get a knowledge point out of it. Fantastic. Recruitment cost reduction. Or we're getting more meals. That isn't bad either. I think we need a bit broader option uh, optionality. What else can we get? Um, I mean, listen, we got all of this here, which was a great start. I really appreciate that. I think we're just getting the other uh, feeds because, well, some of it. Suspicion meter uh, needs to drop fast. I think that's a good one. All right, time to cut some more wood, a resource that we always can use. Cool, I really like those little uh, side gigs here. And I also like those little bit larger side gigs. Ransacking a slaver's basement tends to be a bad idea. Well, you know what is a bad idea? Coming up to me and telling me that uh, it's just a normal mine when you're actually... When you're actually uh, sacrificing innocence down there. I tend to not work very well with that. Miss Grell is here, Namri is here. We got uh, Ines, a couple of pouchers, that's good. And none of them can act anytime soon. So. 
Dilly begins to move. Pinner is Enos. Gets that poucher. Moves back. Ends turn. Enders. Gives us two extra Valor points. Then begins to move up. Hit her. Move up further. Get a solid kill going. Poison both. And move a little bit back. Cool. End of turn. Move up. Hit and down. Good, we're moving up. Defense and down. Move up. Against protection. Unfortunately, we can't hit. Too bad. Fantastic, a new round is starting. Dilly moves up. Takes a kill, galvanizes everyone, which is a big fat damage increase. I like that. And then finishes his turn. Miss Krell hits, takes a bit of uh, protection. And gets ready for the next income. Takes almost no damage. Fantastic. Very good. Enders. Moves up. Hits both and hits them hard. More poison. And finishing the turn. Solid 20 points of damage. Alright, so what do we get? Mosquito, surprisingly flexible and resistant. Proboscis can be dried uh, for paper, uh, uh, for powder. And we got a light armor with a lot of crit damage plus movement. Cool. Anders. Could potentially use that armor for a little bit uh, more crit chance. I like that. And in the meantime, 
the game is offering me even more critical um, critical uh, uh, damage chance plus two percent looks about right I mean base damage definitely is good as well But having that high chance for crit really, really works out nicely so far. Uh, I tell you what, we're going back to the torch. And um, Anders uses that as an offhand. It's now rocking 22% crit, which is phenomenal. All right, let me get back to town because that's where all of the good uh, mm, all of uh, the good stocking up will happen and that's a perfect uh, moment to end today's episode thank you so much for watching we're going to continue here the next time if you are well rested and enjoyed uh, your experience here try to um, pour some ale over that like button and see whether that that uh, slippery bastard is erecting its thumb upwards See you on the next episode and have a good one. Bye bye.